Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to create a template with a model form. The model form uh, of uh, functionality of Django allows us to handle and extract, handle HTML forms and extract the user input data from them. So without further ado, I'm just going to dive right in. Now I am within the views.py file which is located in the meetings application right here so you're not getting confused and in here i'm going to create a new view function because i'm we are going to create we are going to be creating a template that is going to refer to uh, that is going to contain some sort of form which django is going to handle for us so nice of it and that template of course it requires a view function right so i'm going to say def um let's say let's call it form you could call it whatever you want i'm going to pass in request for now for now it is just going to return render not redirect render it's going to return render and let's pass in the request as well as the url for that uh, template the address for that template so again by default django expects uh, all the html templates or the templates to be within the templates folder we just have to specify where within the templates so i'm going to say they are within the meetings uh, they are within the meetings slash what should we call this html i'm just going to call it form dot html so far we are done with this now i'm going to head over to this templates and then meetings i'm going to right click new file form make sure you spell it correctly otherwise it's not going to work in here we don't have anything i'm just going to insert some data and the title is going to be new meetings uh, let's provide an h1 that says plan a new meeting so the focus of this application is that whenever uh, we want to create a new meeting the admin of the website has the ability of course and the authentication or authorization to create a new meeting and also new rooms for meetings but as far as users are, are concerned they can view all the info they can view how many meetings there are how many rooms there are um, and what are the details for rooms and for meetings but uh, or additionally we want the users to be able to create a new meeting as well we do not allow the users to create rooms that is an uh, <clears throat> excuse me that is an administrative task but as far as meetings are concerned we allow them to create meetings therefore uh, when creating a meeting we need a form now that form can be handled by by Django through the model form object now what model form object does for us it is going to take a look at a model that's why it is called model form it's one word model form and it is going to take a look at model whichever model that we pass into it it is going to create a form automatically that's like like magic based on that model that we have passed into it so let's take a really close look at it i'm going to create a form not from let's remove the action and i'm going to provide it with a method and we know that it is going to be post and i'm going to create a table within a uh, table is another html element which we have not talked about it is uh, which we have actually talked about i just remembered which we have talked about right and uh, this is going to create a table so within here i'm going to say form and the rest is going to be handled by django let's save that and next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to our views.py file and we need to import that model form right so on top i'm going to say from uh, django dot forms import model form factory so you can see that the name is model form it's a form that takes its data or to be accurate takes its structure from a model which model it is that we want to add to it 
I'm going to give you two seconds to think about it. We are going to add the meeting model. Why? Because I just told you, we don't want to let the users to create new rooms, but just to create new meetings. That's why we need to pass just the meeting. We don't have to pass the rooms because we don't want the users to, to be able to create rooms. So the model form is going to access the meeting class. Why am I emphasizing on this so much? The reason that I'm emphasizing on it so much is because we are just creating a meeting form. Within the meeting form, I'm going to grab our model form factory and I'm going to pass in the meeting class or the meeting model and I'm going to say exclude. I'm going to explain, oops, exclude an empty list. Now, so what is happening in here on this line is slightly advanced, so let me explain. The model form uh, factory method can generate a new class for us called a model form. And the model form can help us create and process HTML forms. We tell uh, the function to generate a model form class based on our meeting class by passing our meeting class as the first argument. I also tell it that I want to see all the fields um, uh, of my meeting model in the HTML form by saying that it is an empty list. Now, which fields, or to be accurate in the world of a database, which columns from that table do you want to exclude from the user to be able to have access to it? I don't want to exclu exclude anything. So what does that mean? Let's, say, let's enter uh, this models. And in here, how many fields do we have? We have five fields. Keep in mind, there is one more. That is ID. It's odd increment. Don't worry about it. We have five fields. Title. In fact, in the world of SQL, we have five columns. This meeting represents a meeting table. So whenever I say meeting model, it means that we are talking about meeting table. And within the meeting model, we have five fields. Uh, within the SQL, we are going to have five columns. Now, uh, how many of these columns, aka fields, do you want the user to have access to to be able to manipulate? When you provide the exclude as an empty list, it means we don't want to ex ex exclude anything. We want the user to have access to all five of them. That's what basically, where is it? This exclude means. Within the exclude, within this list, we don't want to exclude anything. So I'm just going to save that. Uh, when so this is actually what is happening in here now um, what we could do is um, we have created the form let's just go to that URL where is the URL we, did, we didn't provide a URL mapping for it right so the URL mapping because this um, template is uh, it belongs to this view function to this form and this view belongs to this app to this meetings app i'm not going to provide the urls within the urls.py the parent urls.py but i'm going to provide it within its own urls.py so i'm just going to provide it here remember this i'm, I'm going to provide another urls here so what is that it is going to be path just hit enter path what is the URL? You could do whatever you want. I'm just going to say for. And from the views function, what do we want to access? We want to uh, we want to have access to what was the name? The name of it was form. There we go. And we need to provide it with a URL mapping name. And I'm just going to call it form. Uh, form. There we go. Let's save that. So we do have a URL mapping for it. And now let's go there. So again, the prefix is always going to be that parent. What is that parent? It's meeting slash. So the URL, the actual complete URL is meetings slash form. So meetings slash form. Let's hit enter. And there we go. It says plan a new meeting. We don't see any meeting here. 
why we don't why don't we see that meeting the reason that we don't see any meeting is after we have created this meeting form we did not reference it within the view function so this uh, meeting form this is going to create for us this this is actually a class that is why I have written it in this deliberate manner so this is a class right now after we call this function this model factory function the value of the meeting form will be the newly generated model form class so meeting form is a class and we need to use that within our view function in some way or another right so how can we how can we use that the first thing that we need to add is if you remember we have a form template variable which is form we did not reference it so let's go ahead and let's modify this view function that we have created now I'm gonna say the form variable that I have is going to be equal to meeting form and I'm going to call it now this is going to generate for me a new model form that model form is going to handle all the form inputs it's going to create them it's going to depending on our models on which model the meeting model we talked about it it's going to create that it is going to handle it and it's going to show it to the user now this is our form we need to reference it within the render because remember template variables are returned our their values are defined within this dictionary so I'm going to say form this is the the name of our template variable which is taken from here and what I pass in front of it is this form this meeting form I'm gonna save this and now let's go to this URL let's refresh the page voila where are all where are all these coming from now this is extremely exciting for me to show to you that we just had one table element within it a template variable but everything else that you can see table body then we have all these elements all of these every single input every single input has a head and has a date table head and table data two rows right uh, sorry two columns we have five of them all of this was generated automatically by the model form by this meeting form from which which we got from the model form factory now keep in mind we have we don't have anything now the the cooler part is that if I go into my models and if I just try to make this smaller let's just uh, close this bring this a little bit down so we have a title field in the web page we have a title field here we have a date field we have a title field in which we can uh, so what I could do is I could just provide that here so come on buddy and I'm gonna provide this right come on come on come on come on come on right there there we go I'm gonna expand this a little bit so I'm gonna explain to you why we have all these five and where are they coming from so the first field or the first column is title it is title and you can see it is a character field so you can type characters like meeting and you can type numbers like one two three so it's a character field like the date is a date field but unfortunately for now I'm just uh, the date that we can specify in here is going to be a string date so you have to write like 20 30 like 10 10 whatever right so this is the only way that you can work with it right now uh, in in the next lectures I'm going to show you how you can add that pop-up calendar from which which is like a very graphical way uh, and um, which is a graphical interface through which you can go ahead and select a date right I'm going to show but for now you just have to go ahead and type it out just type the date the start time the next one is the start time it is a time field by default the time is going to be nine that's why by default it is nine let me zoom this part in so by default it is nine now the duration is an integer field therefore you cannot add like any words in here you can just have an integer 
and the default is if I refresh the page the default is what the default is one because we have specified it here and then we have a room which is a foreign key belongs uh, foreign key relationship to this table and we I'm not going to talk about this part and if I click on it we have all of our rooms so just to wrap everything up we have this form here in the web page it is connected to to this meeting form that we have meeting form class this meeting form class is connected to the model form factory the model form factory is connected to the meeting class which is this one this meeting class is connected to our SQL database this database that we have right here db.sqlite3 so this is how you can create real world awesome applications with this our um uh, I, I want to say one more thing as well that Django automatically detects the uh, the input types so for integer for the, for example for this integer it only allows you to write integer nothing else for a room which is uh, which is like a select list it only provides you with the select list so Django is smart when it comes to creating and handling forms we don't say for nothing that Django handles form when Django when we say Django ha Django handles forms it means that it is going to handle it splendidly that's it for this lecture See you in the next one.